welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and i really appreciate your time um so i just wanted to come on here quickly and do a video i know i haven't done a lot of videos <laughs> in it, like you know recently but that's mainly because I don't feel like I personally really had anything to talk about or discuss. So I don't like to come on here unless I really have something that I particularly really want to talk about. And um, I really want to talk about this topic. So this morning I had just watched um, Real Talk with Yanni's video um, about the whole debate between Chrissy and for Harriet, uh, Kim, for, Kim from For Harriet and um yeah after watching her video it basically it, you know it motivated me to want to come on here and um give my own commentary i was actually there on the live and i was there in the comment section and i saw a lot of the comments that people were saying and it was just really frustrating for me because i felt like it was very much this kind of thing of pitting Chrissy against um, Kim and I didn't understand why it had to be this either or. Um, I don't understand why you can't, you know, listen to both women and appreciate uh, the commentary that both women offer. It, it was really just negative. Like, not Kim, but the comment section was very negative. And it's kind of why initially I did not do a video um, because I did not want to kind of feed into this whole you know versus thing there's like this push to have two big platforms um kind of opposing each other instead of them being able to exist on this youtube space and then both express their opinions ex you know state how they feel and it's okay we can have space for both of them so that's why i didn't make the video then but after seeing yanni's video i feel like this is a good time and a safe time to kind of discuss these topics um so uh, yeah, so Yanni mentioned some really great points in her video. Um, one of the things that she really uh, stated was kind of why black women, in particular dark skin, cis hetero black women, um, are so protective over the space that they have helped uh, cultivate with Chrissy. And she talked about basically, you know, the way we are treated in society and how we are seen in society causes us to react um, you know, a certain way when it comes to our things, our spaces, our online spaces, because there's not a lot of safe spaces for us, um, you know, honestly, when it comes to uh, out in the real world. And I feel like that was such a great point because a lot of times, and what was really obvious in the comment section was, it's kind of like, if you are against um, trans women being included in black women spaces then you're automatically transphobic um you're, you're basically bigoted and you don't you know you, you you don't have love and appreciation and respect for all women which i personally don't think is true i am what i would consider myself an ally for trans women um i know two trans women in person in real life like i have an actual interpersonal relationship with them and because I, because I met them and they have become a part of my life, it has uh, motivated me to watch and, and listen to commentary and watch videos where trans women, um, openly trans women, um, share their experiences and their struggles. And that has given me a much greater perspective on, you know, what it's like being a trans woman because I have no idea. Um, and so from doing that i pretty much learned um about the humanity of trans women and so i have a different perspective um i would say than most or should i say the women who don't know any trans women personally and don't um engage and consume uh content uh put out by trans women you you, you don't have empathy i'll, I'll say empathy um for trans women if you don't personally understand or have any knowledge about their experiences i do encourage women um to you know go and do that and so that you can have some information some knowledge about what you're talking about when we go and engage in these um discussions and you know you have a bit of perspective of the other side um so i that's why i consider myself an ally with trans women now the other side of that is as a dark-skinned black woman, 
I completely understand and agree that we should have a space that is separate for us because I mean and this goes without saying yes socially I see trans women as women I see them as an individual who has decided that being a woman is the gender that they identify with and that this is how they're going to live their life this is how they're going to present and all their other actions and choices will relate to them being a woman and feeling like a woman I can respect that to me it doesn't take anything from me as a woman to acknowledge the humanity and the womanhood of a trans woman of a trans woman at the same time while there are places where our experiences intersect there are there are going to be places and experiences there, <laughs> they're going to be um places and um you know points in which our experiences are not the same and they branch off and have different needs there's different plights there's different experiences there's different like there there are differences among us like that's not transphobic to see that obviously the life and experience of a, a woman who is cis is going to be different from the experiences and the life of a woman who is trans to me that's not transphobic and people have to really really be careful about how they use that word because it's dismissive and it's used to shame people and shut them down when I, I just believe a lot of times is misused those areas where our experiences separate or go off in separate directions those are why we need separate spaces because there are there, there's things about transitioning and dating and, and hormones and all these all these all these things that come with being a trans woman that I have no idea about I don't understand I don't understand certain things and so I, I it's not for me right and there's things about being a biological woman that a trans woman is not going to understand and no matter how much they assimilate it's not a genuine experience why can't we then branch off and have our own spaces that support each and every one of us in those specific areas and to me I don't see the problem with that I don't see how that is transphobic I don't see how that's divisive I think that's very necessary just to kind of touch on what Christy was saying about um, how when black women accept trans women in our spaces how it overall adds to the emasculation of black women that that may be true that may be true I don't personally feel like I can put all of that on trans women because as a dark-skinned black woman society in general just dislikes me <laughs> you know the way we've been categorized unfortunately in this company in this company in this country for years and I just can't put all of that on trans women I just can't um however I do understand why Christy is making that correlation I don't necessarily agree with that but I understand I just wanted to really really drive home before I end this video that we have to stop doing this where we cannot hold space for multiple ideas or multiple um notions or multiple um systems of belief or ideologies like that's just not that's not what it's like to be an adult that's not what it's like to be a well-rounded person this kind of frigid mindset of oh you have to either be on this side or that side that's not helpful to anybody right and there is space for for Harriet and their space for Christy. Their space for um, this femininity movement and their space for feminism. I'm personally a womanist, which to me, I feel like that's where the ideologies meet and right in the middle. There's parts of feminism where I'm like, that was never great for me. That's for you white women, you can have that. And then there's parts of femininity where I'm just like, um, I'm not going to oppress myself and subject myself to these very ridiculous ideas that don't have a, 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 a guarantee outcome that will benefit me. But what they do do is make me feel more oppressed. As a black woman, as a black trans woman, I, I say to you, you have the space and you have the ability to develop your own ideas and your own opinions and we have to stop making it seem like 
you have to choose or you're this or you have to choose like we don't have to be against each other that's not helpful we don't have to have this animosity to continue for generations and generations and generations trans women are here they're going to be here dark-skinned black women are here we're going to be here this is the issue for me so i'm going to go over here to this space for me and hey this is an issue for me so i'm going to go over here to this space that supports me why can't we do that to me, that just makes more sense than attacking each other in comment sections and being shady and being nasty and being rude towards each other. We get that enough from the world. So the world does not want to validate who we are. And so why do that same thing to each other? Doesn't make any sense to me. But those are my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. And please, please be safe. Take care.